Look at your calendars. How many months have already gone by this year? And what did you do with those months? Have they been successful months? Or have you been, like so many other people say, just surviving? I want to tell you that if you're just surviving, you're not living your purpose. You're not here to scrape your way through each day. Inside, you can feel your spirit screaming for you to break out of this rut and live your life in alignment with your purpose. You're not here to just survive. You're here to thrive. And I want to talk to you today about self-mastery and endless success. And like usual, I'm going to shoot from the hip. I'm not here to entertain. I'm here to help. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to help. My job, and I felt this for, for all my life, my job is to help people break free. Break free of the, of the enslavement of their conditioned thought. Break free from the shackles of their limited thinking. I've been blessed with the tools I need to do this, so this is what I do. So today we'll be talking about self-mastery. I want to start with self-mastery, and, and it's difficult. You see so many books on this about self-mastery and, and your potential, and, and these books, a lot of them don't address the most important part, which is, who are you? Who are you? You know, when you're talking about self-mastery, you have to know yourself. You can't start going somewhere unless you know first where you are. So, so who are you? What is your position? And when I say who are you, I don't mean when, when you associate yourself with what other people label you. Most, most people out there associate themselves with what other people label them. And I, I'm talking about who you are and how you actually go about your life. Who are you? What is your position? Now your position is something that's important because in order to fulfill your purpose, in order to go around about your life like that, you actually have to know what tools you've been given. I know that I'll never be a professional singer. I'm horrible even in the shower. But I have other tools. I follow the tools. You know, I, I always tell this story about going to this uh, car factory uh, in, in Michigan. And here you go into these wind tunnels. And you've seen those wind tunnel commercials where, where uh, they have the car in there. And here you have this white uh, smoke going through. And I'm sitting there with the engineers. And the engineers say to me, you know, what is it? Uh, I asked them, what, what is it that you're doing? And they said, well, you know, we're checking the car for, do we want to make it more efficient? faster and more effective on the road. So I don't really know much about cars, so I asked them, I said, uh, well, do you, do you put a new engine in it, or, or how do you make it faster and more efficient? And they said, no, you know what? The engine it com came with is fine. What we do is the things we've added to it since making it that create drag, that make it less efficient, we cut those things out. And what they're trying to do is actually get the, the vehicle to reach its, its maximum potential. Because it's positionally, its origin is fine, the engine is fine. It's what they added later that decreases efficiency and its effectiveness. So who are you? What engine were you here with? And what have you added later? A lot of people consider themselves, when I say, who are you, I'll hear, well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a single mother. That's, that's not your position, that's your condition. When I say, who are you, and you say, well, I'm an unemployed, I'm an unemployed American. Well, that's your, that's your condition, not your position. Your position is that you are a child of, 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 of the most powerful creator in this universe. Your position is that you have been given every tool you need to be successful. Your engine is fine. Positionally. You are perfect. Conditionally, sure, you have some things to work on. You may find yourself in some conditions that, that you may not like, that you may want to, to change. I, I, I don't, I'm not uh, exempt from that. The positionally, I know where I am. But conditionally, there are things that need to change sometimes. There are, there are ruts you fall into. Conditionally, you can change things. Positionally, you need to know positionally who 
you are. You can say, you know, I'm an employer, I'm a single mother, but positionally, I am created by the most powerful force in this universe. I have the tools I need to survive. I have the tools I need to thrive. And that's what my purpose is. Once you understand your position, that's when you can effectively wrestle with your condition. Understand this. A lot of times when people fall in that rut and they say, well, I'm unemployed. And then all of a sudden you say, you know, it, when it rains, it pours, things keep happening to you. Or, or, or you go through a divorce or you go through a terrible situation in your life. And your conditions seem bleak. Your conditions seem bad. It's those people who can recognize their position who can effectively handle their condition. And you have to understand that before you talk about self-mastery, you have to know who you are. It's kind of like before you, have, you know where you're going, you have to know where you are. So where are you in your life? Where are you? You know, when, when, uh, when you go to an amusement park, you, you go over and they have this huge display. And on this display is, you know, have the log flow and the roller coasters and where you can go buy food and where the restrooms are. Everything is perfectly mapped out. But it only really tells you one thing, and it's a very important thing, and it's so important that they put it in red bold type and with a big arrow. You all know what I'm talking about. It says, you are here. Because the creators of that map know that you can't possibly know how to get to where you want to go unless you first know where you are. It's impossible. When you go to, when you go to MapQuest online and you're trying to get directions, it won't let you put in one side of directions. You have to first tell them where you are because it would be impossible for them to give you directions unless they know where you're starting from. It makes a lot of sense when you're listening to this on this show, but think about your life. When you want to go somewhere, you don't really know where you are. How could you possibly know where to get, how to get there? And a lot of you who talk about self-mastery and you buy these books on self-mastery, you have to first know who you are. What is your position? What is your position, not your condition? Stop dwelling on your condition. Most people dwell on their condition, especially when it's negative, and all you do is create more negative energy and, and attract more negativity to you. I'm not talking about conditionally. Where are you positionally? And now, where are you as far as your environment goes? Who are you surrounded with? This is where it starts getting touchy. This is where I start making enemies. People don't like hearing this, but the truth is, if you hang around with a bunch of chickens, you're going to cluck. If you hang out with eagles, you're going to fly. If you're hanging out with the same group of people who are in the same condition as you, your condition will not change. Stop blaming everything around you when you have planted yourself in soil that produces that condition. The right thing to do and the hard thing to do are usually the same thing and you need to take responsibility. Remember your position, see the tools you've been given and transcend, rise above your condition. Because that's what self-mastery is about. Self-mastery is about refining improving, enhancing. That's what being aligned with this universe is about. The people who thrive, the people we consider successful and happy, what they are is aligned. Aligned with the intent of this universe. Everything around you is evolving, enhancing, improving. Why not you? We're going to talk about that a little bit more when we get back. You're listening to Empowered Living, Life, the Truth, and Being Free. I'm your host, Steve Maraboli. For more information about A Better Today, our speeches, programs, and seminars, and my live event schedule. If you're in Tempe or Phoenix, in this area, we're doing something at the Changing Hands Bookstore tomorrow night. That's October 2nd, 7 p.m. You won't want to miss it. It's an amazing event. Um, also, visit abettertoday.com for our newsletter. Sign up for our newsletter. It's the best newsletter out there. It'll keep you informed. It'll give you uh, blog entries, some of my writing, and keep you informed of uh, what we're up to at the Better Today community. You're listening to Empowered Living. We'll be right back.